Hey, it's James from Mission, and this is a quick tutorial on basic expression pedal setup with the Line 6 HX Stomp. In this video, we'll cover what cables to use, how to connect up pedals and switches to the Stomp, and review the global settings and controller assignments. After watching this video, you'll be able to set up your HX Stomp for simple expression controlled effects such as volume, wah, and drive. Complete instructions are in the Line 6 user guide. There's a link in the description down below in case you want to follow along. Most of the relevant information is on pages 33 through 40. Ready? Let's go! The expression and foot switch jack is on the rear panel labeled EXP12 and FS45. This input can be used to connect two devices simultaneously. These can be two expression pedals, two switches, or one expression pedal and one switch. The factory defaults are set for a Mission SP1L6H, which is an expression pedal and a switch integrated into a single pedal. To connect the SP1L6H, you can use either a TRS insert cable, sometimes called a Y cable, or a single quarter inch TRS cable. To use an insert cable, connect the two TS ends to OUT1 and OUT2 on the pedal. Then connect the TRS end to the EXP input on the stomp. To simplify the cabling, you can also use a single quarter inch TRS cable. Connect one end of the cable to OUT1 on the pedal and the other to the EXP input on the stomp. There are no switches to set on the SP1L6H, it will automatically detect which type of cable is connected. Press the left and right page buttons together to bring up the menu options and press the right page button to page across to the global settings menu. Press the knob under the global settings box and use the upper knob to select between the different global settings submenus. Use the left and right page buttons to view more parameters. Use the Preferences submenu to select which devices are connected to the tip and ring on the EXP input. For example, on the tip we can select Expression Pedal or a Switch. We have an Expression Pedal in this example, so we'll set that to EXP1. The same thing for the ring, we can select a switch or a pedal. Since we're using the SP1L6 that has the integrated switch, we'll set this to FS5. To clear the assignments and restore factory settings, press the Action button, press Knob 1 for factory settings, and Knob 3 to confirm. The factory settings are set for a Mission SP1L6H, so if you're using that, you won't need to change anything. If you're using a different expression pedal, you may need to change the polarity. You can set the tip and ring polarity to individually if necessary. Next, use the top knob to select the foot switch submenu and use the right page button to page across to the FS5 function. If you remember, in the global settings we assigned the EXP jack ring to FS5. This is now connected to the toe switch on the SP1L6H. The factory setting is toggle EXP. When you press down on the switch, it'll toggle the expression pedal between 1 and 2. This lets you use a single expression pedal for two functions, volume and wire for example, and use the switch to toggle between them. You can set the switch to control a different function if you prefer. Use knob 1 to select what you want the switch to control. Use the top knob to select the expression pedal submenu. Here you can select expression pedal assignments to be global, per preset or per snapshot. Global will assign the pedal to the same effects across presets and snapshots. If you want a volume pedal to maintain its position across presets, select global. Press the view button to exit the global settings. Now let's add a volume pedal. Either select a preset with a volume pedal block already present or add one. Turn the top knob to highlight the volume pedal block and press and hold knob 1 to bring up the controller assignments. Turn knob 1 to select the parameter you want to assign. In this case we're selecting the volume pedal position. 
turn knob 2 to select which device you want to use to control it. We'll choose expression pedal 1. Press the view button to exit the setup. Now when you move the expression pedal you should see the position value move between 0 and 100%. To make another assignment, turn the top knob to the effect you want to control. For this example, we'll control the drive level on an overdrive pedal. Press and hold knob 1 to bring up the settings. Use knob 1 to select the parameter you want to change and knob 2 to select the controller. Since we're already using expression pedal 1 for volume, this time we'll use expression pedal 2 to control the drive level. Press the right page button to page across to additional parameters. Use knob 1 and 2 to select the minimum and maximum range you want the pedal to control. When complete, press the view button. Press down on the toe switch to select expression pedal 2. Now when you move the pedal up and down, it will control the drive within the specified range. Now you can use the toe switch to toggle the expression pedal between volume and drive control. Okay, that's the basic expression pedal assignments on the Line 6 HX Stomp. There are more things you can do, such as using two expression pedals, or having expression pedals control multiple effects at the same time. I'd recommend reading through pages 33 to 43 in the HX Stomp user manual, link down below. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it's just going to show pedals.